we have a tremendous problem on our hands. We are 4% of the world's population here in the United States, yet we consume 56% of the world's pharmaceuticals. I hardly ever meet a woman who says, wow, I'm so well balanced hormonally. <laughs> It's been a while. That belief system, folks, is still there. And now, why, how could that be? I will turn to this bio-identical hormone only when I'm desperate, when all other things have been tried. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are becoming more emotional as you age. That's why your wife likes you better. <laughs> Unfortunately, that affects every single one of your hormones within your body. There's this incredible crisis on us. Male fertility down by 70%. Our adrenals are on all the time. It makes you less male. It makes you uh, a little bit estrogen dominant. And all of a sudden, we don't have the reserve to deal with it anymore. And I, and I was talking to the other gentleman today and he goes, yeah, I'm not gonna let him beat, him, beat me. I don't care how old I am. I'm gonna run until it hurts and I'm gonna beat him because that's just where I am. I said, that's good. We've got good testosterone going here. I like to see this. It gives energy. It increases libido. It makes muscle. He changed how he looked at stress. A few minutes later, I see this poor woman just crying her eyes out. We think it's one of the main causes of depression besides gut health. <laughs> and they'll leave patients on it for years at a time. DHA is a pro-hormone. It, it can drive estrogen, it can drive testosterone. If you overdrive estrogen or you overdrive testosterone, you can create cancer in the long run. You can create inflammation in the long run. Who are the caregivers in this world? So, let's give our brains a little break, just a little break here. With a woman, same stress. Amygdala is on. It increases circulation to the frontal cortex three to six fold. I, I want you to know, honestly, I was just sitting there. Helping them modulate themselves in a proper way can make an incredible difference in your life. We held on to our hormone replacement therapy for 53 years in spite of overwhelming evidence that it was costing the lives of so many women. I have stage three breast cancer. That's the stuff we're seeing. Very young girls with breast cancer. Because we don't tend to our hormones, the fire goes out, libido goes down. Now this is a little disheartening, isn't it? But it can come back. And really, that's all we do here at DBC, is give the body a chance. That's why you find our doctors a lot less cocky, because we're not over here hijacking your body, making it do things. No, we're just removing barriers, allowing it to work like God intended it to work. It's a big difference. An intelligence that has been created within, it's amazing what it can do.